part of Java SE Programmer 11080 MCQs. This is the part 6. And if you haven't watched the earlier five parts, do check my channel. You will be able to find a playlist that has all the parts. And I have cheat sheets, tips and tricks to, you know, crack these exams. And I hope it helps. Even if not, I have a course on Udemy that has multiple MCQ or exam like pattern MCQs. So let us just get started. The question says which of the following is least restrictive excess modifier so in java we have a thing called excess modifiers that we can assign to a class or you know variables sometimes to you know protect them to put out security out there so not every other class or every other package or different classes or whatnot can you know access them so the least restrictive access modifier among all these one of public private default protected is the public one so public is the least restrictive access modifier if a member is declared as public in java it can be accessed by subclasses classes in other packages or other classes in same package moving ahead to another question the question says which of the following predicate will return true boolean value so over here we have param and then we have an arrow sign that is true then we have param and then we have not true so even if you know consider that this boolean value will be returned but there's a negation over there so this will definitely return false then we have double negation so in this case what will happen this true will be converted to false and then the false will again be converted to true because there is double negation and then we have two strings which are equal 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 to and then we have true not equal to true so in this case we can choose multiple correct options so in this case this the first option will return true this will return false this will return true this will return true because both of the strings are equal and not true will return false because they are true okay so these are the three correct options out of given options over here you can if if, if i was way too fast for you or if you want to make a note or a screenshot it over here is the explanation that is given about the mcq okay now what is the output of following program we have a program over here and we are trying to figure out what will be the output of it so over here we have public class just ignore this we have public class hello world then we have our main method then we have created a string and the name of the variable is str and the value is hello then we are passing it to a method modify string and then we are trying to print the new string so here over here if you will see we have the declaration of the method modify string and the argument that we are passing is a string what we are trying to do is we are reassigning the value of s equals to plus equals to world what this will do is it will do concatenation but if you will notice that it accepts the parameter string and you know attaches the word world to it however the string method string variable in main method is not modified by this call to modify string this is because java passes the argument to the method by value okay so the value of s will go here and over here the s will be printed world but if you are trying to print it over here then it will be hello world but you are printing it outside so over here till here only the scope of the variable is hello world that means this s variable is another copy and this str is another over here we pass the str value but 
S and STR hold two different memory location and are two different variables. So when we try to print STR, this variable will be printed STR. But if we will try to print S over here, then hello world will be printed. If I was too fast for you or if you want to take a moment to understand the question, over here is the explanation. Okay, so the output of the program will be hello. The modified string method accepts string parameter and appends world to it. This is what happened over here. However, str variable in the main method is not modified by this call. So when we make this call, this this particular the line on fifth, it won't modify str. It will pass a copy of it. Okay, and this is because Java passes arguments to method by value, which means a copy of the argument is created and passed to the method. That means over here, what will happen is Java will be like, hey method provide modify string. I will just tell you the value of str that is s it won't tell the location of it or you know it won't give the allowance of command you know modify it it will just pass it as an argument that's it this doesn't give the allowance to the method to you know come and modify str variable it's just like for reference or you know sharing by value if you want to remember it in terms of um uh, exam or you know in terms of java you have to just remember this line java passes arguments to methods by value which means that a copy of the argument is created and passed to the method okay any changes made to this copy inside the method does not affect the original variable outside the method as simple as that now we have new question the question says which of the following are true about java method parameters choose one okay so method parameters is this thing only okay now a method parameter can have the same name and instance variable a method parameter can have access modifier public or private method parameter can have default values method parameter can have different names from corresponding argument when calling the method Okay, the first thing says method parameter can have the same name as instance variable, which is not particularly true. They can have different names and they cannot have access modifiers and they cannot have a default value. So option number D is correct. Method parameters can have any valid identifier as any. The way we did over here. We, we the the past variable was str. But we named it as s in the parameter it doesn't it doesn't create any difference but it is the best practice to give them descriptive names to clarify their purpose when calling a method the argument passed is uh, must match the order and type of the method parameter however the name of the argument does not need to match the corresponding parameter name Moving ahead to another question. What is the output of following code? The code goes like we have a x variable of type int and the value of this is 5 and we are trying to print it. Okay, we have a string and then we have plus and then we have x. So this is very straightforward. The value of x will be here and the value of x is 5 will be printed. It won't be null, it won't be undefined, and it's not printed, it won't be like this. It's very simple and straightforward. So, this is the explanation that is given. Let us just read it once. The explanation says the code declares an integer variable name x. As simple as that. And the variable definition is according to proper standards there is no deviation and assigns it a value 5 the println method is then called to print the string the value of x concatenated 
with the value of x. Since x has a value of 5, the output of the program will be the value of x is 5. As simple as that. So this was the last part of the whole series. If you like it, just like it. And if you want to learn more about Java, you will be able to find many, many, many content on my channel and many playlists and that will definitely help you out. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for watching if you have watched all six parts.